Hello! In this video, I want to show you how to fix a very common problem that happens when you're using the good old technique of using trim sheets with the 45 degree normal map bevel. Uh, so this is a very common technique in uh, stylized games. It's very old, it's been around for a long time. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the details of how to do this. Um, if you never heard about this before and you're curious how to do it, I explain on the Environment Art Mastery tutorial how to, like a few different techniques of how to do this. Uh, you can do with uh, Photoshop actions, for example, uh, this one, or you can use a normal map swatch to like paint the colors, the perfect 45 degree colors. So this request, this question was sent by Ted Kosala, and uh, I just think it's a great example of how we can fix this. So the problem that's happening here is, as you can see, like here, the bevels work uh, almost perfectly, right? There is like a little seam there, like here they work perfectly. But on this angled piece, they don't, they break, you get this double edge. And why does that happen? Uh, the answer is very simple. Those colors were made for 90 degrees geometry. So if I map this real quick to a cube, you see that it works, right? That's the effect that we are going for. It breaks here and there, but I think it's because of Maya. Uh, but what happens when we have an angled geometry? Like for example, if I do this, and now that doesn't work anymore. And why, why does it happen? So those normal colors, they were baked down from a 90 degree angle, from, from a high poly to like a 90 degree angle, low poly, right? So those colors, they work when the geometry is in 90 degrees. Uh, like it is here, right? But once it's not 90 degrees, this will happen. And uh, the solution to this is to force the these uh, vertex normals here to be flat. So here is the fixed version uh, that I fixed uh, off the screen. So you see this is as good as it's gonna get. There is a little seam here on the corner, but that's because it's because of this. Like this could be fixed, you know, if this bevel is uh, fixed here, I think we can get it pretty clean here. Okay, so how, how did I fix this? And uh, it's very easy, a little, uh, a, a little bit of manual labor, but let's just separate this geometry here. That's the one we want to fix. And uh, I'm just going to duplicate it. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to separate this face here. Because I want to adjust the normals just for the sides. Just for the side faces. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this face here that has the angle that I'm looking for. And I'm going to make it at 90 degrees. And I can do this with the extrude. And uh, let me apply flat material so we can see what's happening. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna remove the vertex color, uh, the the vertex normals, using unlock normals. And uh, this is somewhere here. I I'm sure you can you can uh, Google if you don't know where it is. This tutorial is not an introduction to vertex normals, so I'm just gonna assume that you know this already. If you don't. You can pause the video and uh, and uh, look it up how to work with ver custom vertex normals, and uh, it's maybe something that I will do in the future, like another video. But this one, I'm assuming that you already know this. So we got the 90 degree angles there, right? And uh, let me separate this too. So I'm just separating the face. 
just so those vertexes they have their own value you know and um, so let's start fixing this we separated the faces and uh, for to fix this I'm going to use uh, this tool called MIG normals it's uh, very easy to find on Google so if you go on your uh, search engine and look for MIG normals uh, Maya uh, you, you're gonna find tutorials you're gonna find the script uh, and I also include it on my shelf here and uh, in blender is gonna be a very similar approach it's, it's gonna be a different tool but the approach is gonna be exactly the same so don't worry this is not a Maya specific thing and you see the tool is very simple what we are gonna do is we are gonna copy the values from this one to this one so we force these faces here to be a 90 degree uh, angle so let's start by let me turn on the wireframe so I'm gonna you see I added a division here in the middle because I want to sample like right from the cent the center so I choose that face and I go to selected vertex and then here I select those uh, those uh, vertexes and I do set to normal so you're you're basically copying the vertex normal values that are 90 degree angles to your geometry that it's the geometry is not 90 degree angle but now for rendering purposes it will be so i'm just gonna finish i'm gonna pause and i'm gonna finish copying the values and okay after doing those adjustments uh this is what i what i got so this of course it introduces a few I wouldn't say artifacts right but it changes the look a little because now this angle is forced to be 90 degrees you see like things get a little darker uh, depending on the viewing angle uh, but that's fine because this technique is mostly for stylized stuff like you, you, you don't worry too much about that so why why would you not just bevel this right like we could just bevel normally and uh, you can totally do that but the cool thing with this is you can add details to this as well so you you see like you can have a little let's let's say if this was a stone you know like you can add some i'm just gonna do something very crude here so you 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 get what i mean like we could do like something like this or if it's a sci-fi piece we can add some like details right for example this and uh, invert And then look, you, you can do some cool details with this, right? And uh, by forcing the normals, you also have much more uh, control of the look in the normal map, right? Because the, the geometry is forced. So whatever you do here is gonna work there. You, 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 um, let's see, I'm just gonna try to overlay this, change the look a little bit just show like quick example of you know like different things you can do with this technique but uh yeah i hope this was uh clear and uh, useful and uh let me know in the comments if you you would like to see more content like this um if you don't know anything about custom normals if you want to see more about that just let me know and then of course uh like the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you're looking to step up your environment art skills, I invite you to check my environment art creation course, Environment Art Mastery. This is a massive course that took me more than two years to put together and contains everything that I learned about environment art creation after more than a decade in the games industry. 
The course contains everything you need to know to be able to come up with your own ideas and take them to completion by using an easy to follow process that breaks down the creative process in logic steps. This process can be used to create all kinds of environments, no matter the style, theme or engine. If you want to know more, visit environmentartmastery.com or watch the deep dive video in my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.